Hey guys, just a quick one today on patterns. I'm not going to go through creating patterns. I just want to show you how to manipulate patterns within an object because sometimes that can be hard to find, but it's actually a really simple thing. So first of all, I've made these four rectangles just using the patterns from the swatch library in Illustrator, um, which I just found here in this nature panel here in the foliage section. So this first rectangle here, let's pretend I want to increase the size of the pattern. So I want to scale it up, but I don't want to change the size of the rectangle. How would I do that? I would select it, go to right click, I'd go to transform scale. And before I've clicked anything, what you can see is showing me a preview. If I was to scale this 200%, this is what's going to happen. But that's not what we want. I actually wanted to keep the rectangle the way it was. So what that means is in this option section here, I just need to make sure the right things are selected. So do I want to transform the pattern? Yes, I do. I'll keep that selected. Do I want to transform the object? Now that's the rectangle. No, I don't. I actually don't. I want to leave that the way it was. Um, and as you can see already, it's showing me a preview, which is exactly of what I want it to do. So it's going to scale up 200% only the pattern. That's great. I can say OK to that. And that's exactly what we wanted. Now, maybe on this one, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to go um, transform scale and maybe we want to scale it down. So making sure that only transform patterns is selected. I'm going to make this, say, 50%. And that's made it so much smaller, but that's exactly what we wanted. So that's how you would scale a pattern. Now let's say you want to move the pattern. Um, if you want to move it around, one way that I like to do it is select the object and then see this little tilde key. Um, it's often found near your escape key, little squiggle button. If you press that button just on its own, and then using your arrow keys, go left or right or up or down. You can actually move the pattern within the object. Now holding that tilde key means the object isn't going to move, just the pattern. Which as you can see could be really handy. So I'm just going to let go of all of that and that's done. Another thing I want to show you is if you need to actually change your object shape, but you don't want to move the pattern around. Um, say I want to make this rectangle the same size as all the others. If I was to pull that, it's going to stretch. And that's not what we want. That's stretching the pattern and it's not the look we're going for. So what you can do is once you've moved it to the shape, you can select the pattern again and it'll sort of go back to its default pattern settings. And same with if you made it smaller, then you can select it again. It goes back to normal. But another way you can do it where it keeps the pattern exactly where you want it is to actually direct select corners of your object that you are wanting to move and move it like that. As you can see, it's just revealing the pattern as I go. If I hold shift, it will keep it straight. Um, but that's one way you can do it, and I know my pattern hasn't actually moved anywhere. It's just the object around it's moved. And obviously, if I direct select this corner and pull that out, it's going to have the same effect. I can do whatever I want with that. I'll just undo. So basically, this tilde button uh, is really handy. You can see if I had a, a text like this, I just created a little gradient and put it in my swatch panel here. But you can see this line here uh, where the dark meets the light. It's sort of the edge of the swatch and it just doesn't look any good. So that's where I would use this tilde key. You can, you can use it on text just like this. So if I hold down that tilde key and start pressing my arrows to the left, you can see that pattern is moving. Now it's taking a bit of a while. I'm pressing it a lot. So what I do like to do in this case is hold shift as well. If I hold shift and now start to press, it just jumps a few. 
it's a lot quicker to um, manipulate by holding shift. So keeping that tilde button pressed, holding shift, and then the arrow keys, and I can move my gradient to where I want it to be. So I hope you were able to find something that helps you out. If you have any questions, leave me a comment um, and subscribe if you're liking my tutorials. Thanks.